Welcome back guys to Mass Effect Andromeda where we took it to the Archon last episode and rescued the Salarian Ark. Unfortunately, it seems a new Pathfinder will have to take Raker's place. Because our choice to not allow them to have Krogan basically bioweapons, a ridiculously strong ability, multiple ones of them, basically has led to the one's demise. Well, with that, we got ourselves a ton of emails as well, and we have to return to the Nexus. So let's get reading, shall we? That's a lot of stuff. Whoa. There's more emails than what they said. Everyone's got something going on. Right, from Jarl. Meet my true mother, Ryder. I've been telling my family about you and my time in the Tempest. I'd love for you to meet them and see where I grew up. My true mother, Sahuna, is especially interested in meeting you. Next time on her Val, let's stop by. Okay. Concerned about Drac. From Kesh. I'm worried about my grandfather. He likes to act tough, but he's still an old man. He's been through a lot. We just talked. He said he's fine, but I could tell he's hurting. After I nag too much, he's promised to go see your ship's doctor. Can you do me a favor and make sure he does? I need him alive a little longer, please. We need him alive too. Inspiration from Cora. I thought about our talk after Lucinia. Got some inspiration. Come and chat next time we're both on the ship. Sure thing. Come meet Jill from Gill. Hey, next time we're on EOS, I'm meeting up with my buddy Jill. She'd love to meet you, and I kind of said we'd like you'd make an appearance. So she's on EOS. She's don't make me lie on me. Lots of planet hopping then. From Nakmore Clan, Pathfinder. Nakmore scouts recently returned with a troubling report. Two catch ships crashed on a plateau on Aladdin after taking damage flying through the scourge. One scout swears she saw one of the ships firing upon the other as they went down, but we aren't able to verify this claim. If there are survivors from this crash, the desert will quickly claim their lives. However, we believe the circumstances surrounding the crash unusual enough to warrant bringing to the attention of the Pathfinder. That is... Yeah, that that's warranted. Moshe Sheffer has the mission as well, or maybe... If you intend to fight the Ket, you should understand that enemy as we do. There's still a few of us who remember what it was like when the Ket first came and how our lives changed once we discovered their true intentions. Learn what our elders have to teach you. I've told them you're coming and given you the means to find them on Aya. We have to go there anyway. Kerry's in trouble from Hakim Balakat. Right now, I'm Kerry's producer of the documentary. Something's happened. Come by when you're on the Nexus next. Oh no. Right, checking in from Cora. Want to check in. Things got heavy on the Archon's flagship. Still have flashing myself. Having flashes myself, even. Flashing myself is not the same thing. Something that gets me. When I can stop thinking about all that happened to the Salarians of the Krogan, is all those remnant artifacts the Archon had. This isn't just a mission for him, it's an obsession. I fought people like that before, who only have one thought in their head that burns everything else away. They get very dangerous very fast. Yeah, they do. Right from Gil, the Angala, have a bara, where PB got tipsy. She's a flirt, even alert, but source, she's a pixie. 60 hours straight keeping your ship afloat, does it show? Nice poetry, yes. Thanks for listening from Liam, enough said. Yep, yeah, sure. You okay as well? Just putting this out there. Had a friend in Hustle, Dondi. Ah, Dondi's his name, okay. Had a friend in Hustle, Dondi. Not Hustle Dondi as a branch. We were clearing a hospital after an earthquake and she got hit with a chunk of rebar. Split her helmet, kept going. Four minutes technically dead, but we got her into the emergency stasis. Thing is, because they're so good at patching people up, she was back with us in a week and she shouldn't have been. Yeah, I guess. He's asking the question I asked. Completely fine to start working as soon as you've just been dead and back? Sure, Donnie's a vet. She's seen some stuff, but you don't walk that off. She worked that quake site for a week and disappeared for five months. She came back, but different. The other vets, they knew. Take the time if you need it. You don't die and just shake it off. A media theme again. Thanks for the booze from Wilma. Oh, it's Wilma, Superintendent Kesh's assistant. Thank you for the bootleg spirits from Kadara. Kesh was very pleasantly surprised, even though her assistant barely felt the effects. The rest of us slept well that night, though, I'm sure. Right, Angaran guns too. Man, Ryder, right, four new guns, but this Angaran stuff? They really know how to make things to point and shoot. Was he eyeing a couple on Aya when we were there? Sidearm called a Zephyr and a sniper rifle. Ishere, I think they call it. Look fancy, but I guess even their shivs are fancy. Glad we found aliens who know how to fight. Not sure how I would feel if Andromeda was nothing but Pijax or a uh, Elcor. I'll take Ket over those chumps. Alright, stress relieving hobbies from Lexi. Encouraging me to take up lots of stuff because, yeah. Stress. Gardening, reading, knitting, or crocheting. Colouring or painting or journaling, okay? Like the, the, the cat leader journals, after all. Jell, I'm writing to let you know that I've been receiving a lot of messages and congratulations from Resistance members who've heard of our victory against the Archon. It's not common knowledge, but it's hard to keep good news like that from spreading. We're hopeful people who are granting new hope. Indeed. Imagine the excitement when we conquer Meridian and heal the cluster for all our people. Some nights I can't sleep because I'm dreaming of it. And that's the end of our emails. Of course we were going to get an absolute ton. Alright, time to check the medbay then. Because obviously we've got some crew to talk to before we go anywhere. Nexus bound we are not. And about a billion other places we have to visit. So what's up with Drac? Hmm. 
move your arm again? Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> Nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Everything okay? This looks like... a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? He's fine, just... old. And missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions, watched my culture disintegrate, survived centuries as a merc, and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience, all it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. It must have been hard. Yeah, it got pretty bad. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up. Drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's awful. It's practical, Krogan. Gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. He found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. What was it? Took me a while to figure it out, but it's important. Parents aren't meant to be a goal or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. That's true. Parent always not one what's best for their kid or their kid to aspire to be them. Their kid, you know, your kid is supposed to go past you. And there's a million ways to do that. Not necessarily achieving in work or etc. Parents will be proud. Pretty much regardless. Right, Cora. That's the one. Or at least they should be. Because everyone has a different life. Everyone will lead it differently. Well, with that said, Cora, let's speak to you. Except you're not here. You wanted me to speak to you. This is your place. Where has she gone? Guys, where's Cora? It's nice to see that you've made it all the way up here quick enough. 
She wasn't with Gil, was he? Was she? There's Gil. There's Joel. I have no clue where Cora is. And now I've fallen. Right, well, Cora's well hidden, but I guess we can speak to her when she's moved to her crew quarters, probably next time we get on the Nexus again. And then back. Oh, there you are. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure, what do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Okay then, so EOS with Cora, EOS with Gil. Aya as well. Oh, there's so much. Haval. Onwards and outwards, eh? Well, don't you think we should speak to the Nexus leaders first? Get this arc home. I say home loosely, of course. Is there more systems appearing now? There is indeed. And after I scan so many, some more have opened up. One down here as well. Free over here. Just to make sure we keep on exploring. It can never end. Well, let's find out what's happening next, shall we? And see if that opens up a ton more quests itself. And then we'll get back on our loyalty mission track again. Because to be honest, we want to space that out in between the massive amount of traveling. The loyalty missions are good things. I always hope with these let's plays that I space things out brilliantly. All right then, Nexus. We're gonna be in you. We're on board at the very least. The task path of a hero is still here, ready for us to do. Was that Andrak Nor's quest again that still hasn't been actually completed? You gotta be kidding me. So which one will show up, do you reckon? Salarian Ark? Turian Ark? Considering we've only welcomed back the Asali Ark. It's gotta be Turian, it's gotta go in order, hasn't it? I gotta wonder if this will hopefully remove my memory embargo. Nope, nothing this time then. History is made. Hey, it's me, Kerry's producer. Hi. Haki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. It's Remember, not Kerry's me, is it? I didn't do this, did I? But just, you know, saying what I say. Oops. All the same, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Let's head to our main point then. I don't know, maybe one of these days our brother's gonna wake up. Hopefully the doctor's sorting things out. It's been some time, you know? I did not think this game would last this long. Alright then, Nexus leaders, we'll get to you, but first of all... It's that side, isn't it? I'm sorry, yep. Just, just stuck him right in jail, yeah? Poor Kerry. Oh, hey Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. 
So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Okay, we're still waiting for your next interview slot, are we? Good luck with that. I hope you get out of your own free will rather than we spring you. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. She looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's her own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder? We were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. It's true. I had to leave some Salarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Ark Parchera reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. This is how we beat them. The Archon doesn't know how to bring Meridian online. He can't control the technology. I can. Vaults, maybe. We don't know if Meridian works the same way. And attacking the Ket, only to find out you're wrong? Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. It's about time for Sleeping Beauty to wake up, isn't it? God. There you are. Touchy-feely time. Don't you think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Please, it's nothing like that. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? I know you don't like being reminded you're my little brother, but you are. So relax and let your sister take care of things. <sighs> if you say so. More sleep for me. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Alright, so that's the sorted, but we've got other things to do as well. 
And yeah, hoping your life will just work out is a bit of a hope here. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little. Though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Very serious. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. Good art. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there. So was Mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that... Reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all oh, hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. All those stories about him being an N7, kicking ass in the military. I always thought they were exaggerating. You should have seen him in action, taking out Ket left and right. It was amazing. Huh. Dad, the badass one-man army. Pretty good way to remember him. What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Biotics were an unknown back then. So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Ezo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. She was a pioneer. And she actually gave it to him. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? You still think about Mom? Yeah, especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but... I think about what might have been, if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. 
the things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Screwed up how? We start with Mom dying. I never cried so hard. And Dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that Meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. You want in, do you? Well, a long talk and chat with our brother who's finally awake seems to have led to the fact that we can now actually unlock some more memories here on the Nexus. So let's get over and do that next time and also speak with the other Pathfinders and then see where we're heading next. See you around for more Andromeda. Bye-bye.